Okay. So whenever you're ready, we can play it. Let me just do some testing real quick of this mic here. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can hear myself. Okay, whatever um you have the Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, yeah, I'm just waiting on Jay to play the the video. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 yeah. Hey, so we started from the bottom, now we're here, girl. Oh, yeah. This is my butt right here. Whoa. Hallelujah. We were perfect, but I've never felt this way. No. And I just can't imagine how you could be so okay. Now that I guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. Because you said forever. here i just wanted to quickly introduce our new DD series called spicy and dicey it's on twitch and youtube i play as sakura she's a half elf and a demigoddess because she is the daughter of zeus a lot of her spells include lightning and thunder magic and if you'd like to know more then please tune in on tuesday nights at 8 30 on twitch D&D in your life? Well, here's a new campaign for you to go check out. The Table is Yours, a new D&D campaign with some friends of ours. Find them over on Instagram, and amazing things are in store for you. The Table is Yours!
party It's your favorite song just to make you smile Do you think of me? When you close your eyes Tell me what are you dreaming? Everything I wanna know it all I spent 10,000 hours and 10,000 surprised to see their friends, Foxface, Pete the Monkey, and Connor, alive, seemingly a back from the dead, fighting some more robotic guards for their freedom. Now, following that, they were released into the city of Drew, able to buy clothes for a wedding, while Cyrus and Nicane went to go visit the Church of the Shadow Squid. 
The group then all bought some beautiful attire from a cat named Marco. And Sakura was visited by her father, Zeus. Now what will happen this week on the end There you go, I gave you guys another cool long one. D&D! I mean, how long do you really got, like, do I need it to do it, like, for, like, a minute next time? Like, a full minute? Because I can do it. I can just keep going. d and I mean, maybe, now we've probably, maybe it's probably gone a little too long now. Um. <laughs> Listen, if I you can. I love them. <laughs> full minute. No, I love that one. That was if you can one. level that for a full minute, I will love you forever. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. <laughs> Don't that for a full right, minute right. So, um, unfortunately, uh, we're missing the cane tonight. He, uh, I got stuck at his job, and then a uh, key was supposed to be here. He might still be dropping in. We'll have to see. And John isn't feeling too well. Um, so I was wanting to get to the wedding today. However, we may kind of stop it a little bit right before the wedding, so they can all be here for that kind of episode after the two weeks we take to enjoy our new kind of fun special that we're going to be starting next week. Um, also, last week we had a glitch with our uh, sound. Obviously, as some of us know. Where um, Sakura, uh, your your sound wasn't coming in, so we're gonna revisit some of those moments just at the beginning here, um, so we can you know go over them and the audience can rehear what you had to say, and we can kind of talk about that. So we're gonna start right there. Sakura, you were kind of just visited um, by your father Zeus at the end of shopping. Um, so you guys had to kind of basically come out of buying your beautiful wardrobe. Sakura, you had asked for a dress that was kind of should change color and so you could change it to white if you'd wanted to um you uh hold on everybody i'm gonna turn the fan <laughs> sorry our place is having some technical glitches so to be honest with you if we end up having a malfunction we might kind of get back to this later just so you know our place is kind of hot right now and our kind of stuff is acting a little spotty just so you all are aware i'm so sorry yeah, so no um we're gonna get back to yeah so sakura your father zeus kind of teleports in and last time he kind of saw you and you questioned um, where he'd been. And now it's nice to meet him. And he said, of course, that he's not really allowed to see you. Uh, however, it is brash and bold that you invited him to the wedding. So he kind of gifted you a beautiful little uh, fey realm creature that he constructed uh, out of kind of magic called uh, you named Sonic, which was a little <laughs> kind of spiky pink hedgehog. Um, that uh, had a dog's face and body, but with the kind of spiky electricity kind of uh, spikes coming off of his body, which has been added to your uh, extras, just so you know. Yay! And it is called a blink... Yeah, it is called a blink dog. And a blink dog basically can blink in and out of existence whenever you want it to. Um, it is a fey creature, and it will listen to you, of course, and it can do an attack, um, and they're pretty strong. So he gets to do that, Sakura. Oh, yeah. that's my doggy. And uh, you, <laughs> and then after you, after you kind of basically get your head together, you're then teleported back to your friends, and they all question basically what the hell happened. And you said, "Saw my father basically, and that was strange." And they kind of saw you with this new creature, and all of you just kind of got your wardrobes together. I know I'm kind of recanting here, but that's what happened. Um, so Sakura, you kind of have this new creature that you've just gotten. Um, Sonic, what do you want to do with it? Anything specifically? Do you want to do anything else? Um, well, I think I was telling the rest of the group what happened, too, right? And then, um... Yeah. Like, where are we right now? We're still on the street, right? And we're heading back yeah, to you're in the, the city. lilac? Yeah, the lilac. Yeah, yeah. You're kind of heading back there right now. Um, well, I'm just gonna, like... I'm going to take him and I'm going to hold him and I'm going to pass it around for everybody to give him like a little pat on the head or something. Get him acquainted oh, with the group. So, okay, so, <laughs> so you all pass him around and he seems to just like kind of magically get along with most of you. And it's a nice moment as you guys all share meeting Sonic and he like licks you up and everything as you guys head back to the lilac and Pippa, you're very good with animals, obviously. So you kind of have like really holding him and like, kind of like Holman, he's a little bit apprehensive with you. Um, because you're not so great with animals <laughs> sometimes. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> or just because I had one bad experience does not mean I am not good with animals, okay? That was well, he's like, he just, <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, he likes you and everything. He likes everybody all, but he's a little apprehensive. Um, however, like we're going to go now to, we're going to go now to you, Cyrus, uh, you and Kane. 
were over um, at the temple. So we're going to take a break from you guys as you head back to the lilac. And you were called over, Cyrus, by the priest. And Nikane was kind of having fun talking with uh, his kind of friend, Devon, as she kind of was over there. But the priest called you over, Cyrus. My friend, I know you said, uh, he kind of looks around. You wanted to get back in touch with your, uh, your god, yes? Yes, I would absolutely love to do that. Well, I know the feeling about getting drained of your magic and all that. It's happened to many of us in this city, and we all have to deal with the consequences of sometimes losing the power. However, he looks around again. Some of us are able to reconnect, if you know what I mean. Follow me. He kind of takes you, Cyrus, to a back room. He kind of closes the door. As you get into this room, Cyrus, it's like a very black room covered in dark curtains. We call this the room of prayer, thought, revelance. Maybe you'll be able to connect if you roll your die and give me a wisdom with an arcana bonus check. Okay. All right, come on, be good. That is a 15. Okay. And then with my Arcana. 21. Okay. So as you focus, Cyrus, as he leaves you in the room, you kind of sit there and kind of try to think and reconnect and reconnect. And you manage to have your hand where your arm blade usually comes out. Instead, it's the head of the hound kind of grows out of your hand and your palm and turns to you. Ugh. Magic field. Despicable things. Don't ever, ever let them do that to me again. Do you understand? It wasn't really on me. I, I would have just kept you around, I guess. Cyrus, at that moment, you feel your body return with all the magic that you'd lost from entering the city. It floods back as you feel the hound almost kind of re-entering your body, not in a weird way, but like as the power <laughs> of the magic seems to like grow and like uh, feel quite, I know, I know, soccer, I saw that. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, cheeky, um, but the hound magic returns as you fill with uh, the magic that you used to once have. And he goes, <sighs> so what have we missed? Uh, not too much. Just uh, have to go to a wedding now. That's that's amazing. A wedding? Well, we've had worst parties, eh? Tell me, have you said anything to the elf girl yet? About what exactly? About what we talked about, how you don't have time to protect her. We have other things to do. Have you said anything? No. No, I haven't. I never count on you. Why should I ever count on you? Do you want to kill the royal family or do you not? Do. I do. Then let's finish this wedding and get out of here. And he kind of disappears back into your arm, Cyrus. You leave the room, Cyrus, as you kind of get your magic back. And Nikane says, hey man, come on, I'm getting hungry. And he kind of le starts leading you out of the, uh, the, the church of the squid. Lars, the priest, kind of returns to you, Cyrus. I hope you found everything that you were looking for. And kind of gives you like a knowing kind of nod. Yeah. Um, not the exact one I was looking for, but it's something. Well, like I said, sometimes you can't sell your soul to a god and expect another one to move in. And he turns to kind of leave you alone. Cyrus, as you look around the church of the squid, take it all in again, the nice black kind of church with the shields on the walls, and you follow Nicane out. 
as you head back, uh, Cyrus, you kind of are managed to turn the corner from where you guys were in the church, and you ran in right into your group as they kind of are walking back towards the lilac, and you all then run into each other again. Pippa, you kind of bump uh, back into uh, Nikane and Cyrus as they turn around the corner as you guys are kind of all walking towards that that corner that you were around coming yourselves from. What do you want to do, Pippa, first? Hey, guys, it's you. Nikane's Perfect like, timing. Oh, yeah, sorry. Whoa! <laughs> Nikane looks at you guys and observes you. Cyrus, you guys look and see that they're all decked out in beautiful new outfits. Where'd you get the duds? You know, in town. You guys got to get some new outfits, too. Nikane, you would look perfect. In you. And Cyrus, if you don't want to change and out of your precious armor, you got to wash it. Unacceptable. Yeah, you kind of... Nikane looks to you and kind of sniffs you, Cyrus. Yeah, you smell like Amelia's blood. It kind of <laughs> looks to Amelia. Not that I, your blood is smelly or gross. It's just, I don't really know what your blood smells like. I'm sorry, Nikane kind of just... She kind of shyly kind of just, just kind puts of his head down. <laughs> <laughs> but Amelia, you just notice that there's still dried blood of yours dripping, like kind of not dripping off Cyrus, <laughs> but Cyrus, you haven't gotten all the blood off of your arm or it's kind of still stained in some areas. Eh, eh, it happens. I'll take it off. <laughs> That's just how, kind of how he is. He's like, yeah, I'll wipe it off later. All right. The, the cane says, yeah, I want to get some clothes. Where do I get them? We can show you in town. We're actually going to go get some food, too, because I'm starving. I don't know about you guys. Oh, I'm starving. You guys starving? Kind of, the cane looks to the rest of the group. We haven't eaten don't eat. all day. Yeah, it's been like, what, fight after fight after check-in after check-in? Warp nipple crosses his arms. Yeah, you know, guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a little bit of a leave once again. Um... There's got to be a shaman or a doctor around this city. It's full of metal. I got to go ask questions about this arm. I haven't figured anything out. I'll find you guys again. Trust me. I, at the wedding. I'll see you guys at the wedding. Uh, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. All good right. luck. All right, guys. I'll, I'll find you again. You guys watch his warp nipple. He looks at his arm. It kind of looks around. Does anybody know where I can find a doctor? And he kind of just kind of starts like walking off to like look in the city for where he could find like a, a medical area. Um, so Pippa, you kind of are leading the group right now as you're kind of looking for food and uh, McCain, you told him about the clothes. What do you want to do next? Uh, guys, do you think I should bring up the lilac situation with McCain yet or wait till after we're done shopping? No? What's going on? Ooh, I, I don't know what's going on. I personally <laughs> think we should wait. Because uh, I think Jake should be here to <laughs> respond for that situation. So I okay. think yeah. I think we need to. I, I, I think right. we, I say let's wait. Let's wait. It. All right. So Do I see case, Sonic? Like, by the way, you guys all kind of huddle and like look back at him, like <laughs> <laughs> this guy will, like look at him and he's just like, "What? What? I'm hungry." It's <laughs> kind of just like this kid, yeah. just orc boy. Just, I'm hungry. Can we go go get some food. All right, food then shopping. Okay, sounds good. There used to be this place I used to like to eat. I think it was called the Gobbler. Uh, this way, kind of, McCain kind of points off in a direction down the streets of Drew. Um, once again, you guys are now in the streets of the city of Drew. Um, once again, it's a very, as you know, very metal and dark city with like a lot of dark uh, cathedral like towers as i told you and all the shops are built into the walls it's kind of cool though it's very kind of like um a, a very kind of interesting steampunk gears and stairs that kind of move and combine the different like platforms from the buildings uh to each other um so you kind of like, watch as these different gears turn and all the metal dark staircases kind of uh start to move to get to different parts of the shops towards each other um it's pretty uh, pretty interesting um the city is very high tech um, you can see these different, like, um, anti-magic fields around different shops and different teleportation kind of systems being used. As you know, that the city is very heavy on that magic. Um, so, you guys are looking around the city. What do you want to do? Amelia, let's go to you. What do you, as you look around, is there anything, Amelia, that you want to look for specifically as you look for food? Um, uh, as for food? Well, I mean, there's there's a lot of, like, different things you can do. As you look around the streets... 
Amelia, you do see that you guys happen to pass by kind of a noodle joint that has uh, like this kind of orcs that are working back there. They kind of have some slave children you can see as you look in there, Amelia. You see that like the kind of older orcs are like, come on, get to work, boy. And he kind of whips this younger orc kind of with like a, a rod type of little short kind of whip, you know? You know your whips, Amelia. It's like one of the small ones that like a, what is it called? It's not like a like a flog. Whip, it's a, it's a crop. A, yes, like, yeah. like a crop kind of, exactly. And you girls know what I'm talking about, you <laughs> nasty girls. <laughs> Anywho, it's a crop. You yes. don't gotta call me out. <laughs> we. Jesus. We all Jesus. Know so, anywho, uh, you got he kind of hits one of the orc boys with a crop. Um, yeah, go up and like grab the whip, like as he's like mid swing. <laughs> Oh, so okay. So I want you to do. You have to give me a dex. Let's do a dexterity uh, roll there, Amelia. Oh, not well. Seven. Oh, so you, you try to grab it right before, but he just happens to just hit this kid. And he looks to you. What do you think you'll do it? Can I help you? Uh, I'll step next to her. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll intimidate. Oh, 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 okay, I so you guys both... Hold on. Hold on. There. I, can't, I can't hear you, Amelia. Speak louder for me. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to basically just tell him to cut the fuck out. Like, who the hell does he think he is? Okay, so you got a good intimidation, Hall, but so as he looks at you too, he's like, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get some work done here. This boy's lazy. He's a, he's a new hire. I apologize. Would you guys like some food? My name is Dom, and this is my noodle sanctuary. Now, would you like my boy to make you some noodles? I'd like you for you to stop hitting him. Well, well, I mean, I own him, so I mean, I can, I can hit him all I want. I mean, it, I, I'm not, I won't hit him while you're here, if that's what you'd rather me do. But I do own him. Can uh, let's see. Yeah, are we about to fight? <laughs> let's go! Come on. What do you want to do, Amelia? Um, I'm going to just do it. I'm right behind you. Let's go. Just do, just do it. Just do it. Style LaBeouf. Just do it. Oh my god, now I'm confused. Okay, um, I am going to. Come on, come on! No, I'm nervous, oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to just punch him. <laughs> you, gotta make a decision. you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna slap him. I'm gonna use burning hands while I'm doing it. God, Lee, I knew it! Okay, so, so he, he, he just takes the slap. As you hit him, I'm going to give him, because you just kind of got him off guard. I'm going to do a, a roll for him to see if he can avoid it. Um, no, I mean, he only rolled a six, so yeah. no. So you kind of just slap him, um, and the orc kind of just takes the hit. He's like, kind of looks at you like, the fuck? Like, uh, ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't mean to, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to def uh, offend you. I'm sorry. I was just making some food. I mean, I think she would be less offended if he started paying a fair wage to your employees. He kind of looks at you guys and kind of takes a step back. Well, I mean, that's not really up to me to decide, mate. I don't make the rules of the city. You know what? I, I think we're closing for the day. He kind of takes the bars to his shop and just pulls them down and you hear like the lock click click as the noodle shop is kind of then closed as his uh shop then you see the lights from the outside all go off the city sucks i hate it <laughs> <laughs> couldn't agree more so you guys couldn't look around more. as you see you, you all then notice that most of the shops around you, you all tend to like then look around you can see that most of the shops have slave labor. 
Um, there seem to be like a lot of places with either orc children or different types of children doing a lot of work. Um, that you see the, from the blacksmith shop across the street from the noodle restaurant, there's some kids really like working hard to make metal objects and and there's a whole bunch of like armor and swords and hammers hanging down from the ceiling. A majority of the workers in there are child slaves. They have the same numbers and tattoos that Nikain sports on his uh, arm. Um, you notice that Nikain kind of seems to clam up a little here and he gets a little quiet um, and kind of doesn't seem to participate in talking about it. I just silently go over and just kind of, you know, give him a pat on the back, just silently like, hey, we're here type of vibe. Yeah, he kind of he kind of is like, I'm cool. He kind of acts all tough like a teenager. <laughs> Whatever. That's why I left this stupid city. He kind of like wipes it like his, like, you know, it's like as if he had a tear in his eye type of thing, but kind of acts tough and doesn't, doesn't try to care. All right, guys, I think, I, I think I gobblers is this to, way. Um, McCain, don't worry about it. We'll burn them to the ground for this. <laughs> I don't know if I want to burn it to the ground. Kind of looks at the city. I mean, city, the people in charge. Burn the people. Uh, burn the people. <laughs> Not the <laughs> city. The bad, the bad people. The bad people. The <laughs> kind of looks at you guys like, okay, fuck yeah, and kind of just like gets like, like all excited. And he's like, to gobblers, and he kind of like starts leading the way, like all proud of himself with you guys. He kind of tries to act all tough um, again. As you guys look around once again, uh, is there anything you'd like to do? Um, let's go to you, Cyrus. As you kind of walk down the streets, you're headed towards gobblers. Um, as you pass, you once again you see there's different type of stores and stuff. Cyrus, do you want to do anything? Um, yeah, I think he's gonna at this point. He looks a little bit more defeated, so I'm gonna have him a little bit more like in the back of everyone once again, kind of like degressed in like how he was talking more, more often. Okay. So at this okay. point, he kind of just looks at them and he goes, "Um, I'm gonna go get a new blade," and, and then he kind of walks towards like the nearest shop he can find that has Marie. All right. All right. So Cyrus, you kind of look around and you see one of those blacksmith shops. It's it's not too far from like the long um, walled street that you're going down. Uh, Cyrus, you have to walk up some stairs to get there. So like you see this blacksmith shop, you can smell the metal, hear the clanging of the, the iron and everything being made. Uh, Cyrus, you obviously in your armor and everything, you're pretty familiar obviously with blacksmith shops and all this type of stuff. And as you look at your armor, Cyrus, as well, you notice that it's in, not only is it bloody and stuff, but it's pretty all bent and kind of fucked up, Cyrus. Um, you've had better days with your armor um, and stuff. So as you kind of head up these stairs, the gears move, Cyrus, as they kind of clank and turn and the stairs that you're on move to get to the building you need to get across as you go up about two levels um, on the wall. Uh, so Cyrus, as you get there, you see that there is a uh, kind of, um, not kind of, he is a, another orc, uh, a blacksmith, an ironsmith specifically, uh, working with intense irons. And he has a couple, like, once again, slave labor kids working in the back. However, they seem to be a little bit more, um, less of slave labory, more of like apprentice um, children. So they are slaves, unfortunately. And you can tell by the tats on their arms, Cyrus. But they seem to not be treated as rough as the noodle shop Dom was treating his. Um, so you see as the orc turns to you, Hello there, sir. How can I help you today? I need a new blade. And he, you know, he takes out his blade that's a little bit more bloody, a little chipped. It's still yeah, that's... fine for the most part. No, it's a good blade. It's a good blade. It looks pretty good like you've used it in a lot of battle, my friend. And you can tell you're a very strong warrior. Um, so what kind of blade are you looking for? Anything specifically? I mean, you definitely need something new, better than this. I mean, it's just a long sword. I I feel like you could do better. You got it. Um, well, you, my friend, you look like somebody who likes something special, eh? Uh, a man that might need to go into the darkness. Am I right? 
Yeah. Well, I think like I, the, I got this. I got the thing for you, my friend. He kind of goes to the back, and as I t- like, I kind of told you before when we were talking out of game, uh, Cyrus. He kind of comes back with this giant, kind of awesome. It's like a super long, kind of jagged uh, katana looking type of blade. Um, it's kind of reminds you once again, it reminds me at least in my mind, it kind of reminds me of Cloud's Blade from Final Fantasy. It has a long kind of like kind of just really long and, and uh, thin. Um, it's wrapped on the end with like a very thick red bandage. And uh, it happens to, as you noticed, Cyrus, this is something that you've heard of before. It's called Moon Touched, which means that this blade, as he presents it large and down onto the table, Cyrus, he's like, this is a Moon Touched Blade. Which means, not only is it tuned with magic and people that use magic and sorcery, but it will give off a radiance of moonlight energy wherever you go of at least 15 feet with an extra dim light of another 15 feet when you use this weapon in the darkness. What do you say? It is a great sword. I think uh, he's going to pick it up. He's, uh, he's going to kind of like lift it up to see how heavy it is. And gives like a really like the mass. It gives like a really deep, but like almost scary laugh as he's just like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> so that's pretty good. So Cyrus, you got something different from out of you. So it's like an uncomfortable dark laugh that just comes out of you as you take this blade, and he kind of goes like, "My friend, for you that blade seems like it's meant for you." Now, I will have to charge you though. That blade will be twenty gold pieces. Is that something you can do? <laughs> He's like, oh shit. Uh, are, yeah, are we yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. All right. Well, my friend, the sword is yours. You guys exchange the gold pieces, Cyrus. He gives you the large blade. And now you can, if you want to, Cyrus, you can, or I can do it for you. I can go in and equip yourself with a moon touched sword. If you type in, in Cyrus, it should come up for you. It's a great sword. And, um, you now have it. So basically you have this giant uh, red jagged katana with a kind of a red uh, handle at the end and it radiates light from 15 feet of moon energy. It's a pretty cool blade, man. Pretty cool blade. Um, so he kind of looks to you. Anything else I can help you with, my friend? Any armor you may need that are cleaned? He kind of notices all the blood on you. You want me to help you with this? He gives like a sigh, and he like you know he he sheaths the sword on the, on his back. He goes to take off my armor. You don't have to take it off. I mean, I can just what I he kind of brings out a kit like a kind of a shoe polish kit, but it's for armor and cleaning the metal and armors and shining them and stuff. But I can wipe you down. <laughs> I mean, that's up to you, my friend. It depends how comfortable you want to be. It's an extra gold for that. It's just one extra gold, right? One extra gold, my friend. As long as it's not taking it off, go ahead. I'm fine. All right. So it's kind of an awkward moment. You guys all look up at Cyrus as you kind of see him up at this shop. He's like, has this orc man like washing him down. (laughs) It's like, (laughs) it's the, he kind of looks down to your friends. He's at your friends down there. Do we have cameras? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you don't have cameras. You don't have. <laughs> what is what is this? We gonna pull out? Do I have my iPhone? <laughs> like, no, you do not. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he knows that they're down there, so he's just looking straight up. No. Like he's not even <laughs> down at them. He's just embarrassed. All right, so Cyrus, you're you're literally there getting like a sponge bath looking thing from this orc man. He's like, I like your friends. They seem like nice sponges. What is that? He looks and points down to Sonic. As he's like looking at this spiky hedgehog dog that Sakura's holding. What? I've never seen. What is that? What is that? He, I think uh, he, he, blink, he blinks over and like just teleports to him or whatever. Whoa! <laughs> the, the guy is just like. I think Cyrus is going to jump as well. <laughs> what, what the is fuck? Huh? Oh, oh no! What, what is that? What is that? <laughs> I didn't even see that thing. Wait, wait, was she holding that the whole time? <laughs> oh shit! Cyrus hasn't seen this yet. I forgot. Cyrus hasn't yeah, seen it. Yeah, I forgot this. he hasn't seen it either. <laughs> so both, both Cyrus, Cyrus and uh, and and the orc distributor, the the blacksmith, they're both just like looking at 
at uh, Sonic as the dog just looks up to them like. Her. I'm gonna turn to I'm gonna turn to Sakura and be like, "What the fuck is that? What is that?" <laughs> it was a gift from my dad. <laughs> dad gave you a. What is that? What is that? Is that a hog? What is that? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> Name is Sonic. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the I orc. Like the name. <laughs> he's <laughs> a he's a blink dog or something like that. <laughs> I think he goes to pet it like slowly, like he's like, oh, what the. F-? As as you go to pet it, Cyrus, like uh, Sonic, just blinks away. Again, he like just blinks away, and he just teleports back into Sakura's arms, <laughs> and like just re. Boop. Once again, and you're just like you're like left like literally like a half a centimeter away from petting it. So you're just like left there like uh as you <laughs> as you kind of as you're bent over Cyrus, the guy goes, the black goes, Well, I guess it's a good time for me to clean your backside. And he kinda of starts wiping the hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I I need to get all the metal. So as okay, let's move on. So <laughs> you guys finish up. <laughs> No, yeah, no. You finish up, uh, you finish you need up your little detail, little. please. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on. Let's actually move on to you, Hallman. As you make your way, you leave the blacksmith shop as you guys continue towards Dobblers. Uh, Hallman, what would you like to do? Um, <clears throat> I think I want to camp out where my father is and try to see if I could... S- See if it's been possible to break him out or just see him. All right. Well, you were told you did ask and you mm-hmm. found out um, that he was in Hallsworth's tower and Hallsworth's tower. All the Hallsworths, as other game players know, uh, like Amelia and Soccer and Pippa, that um, Hallsworth's tower. They have a whole bunch of Hallsworth's towers, as they mentioned last time. And these towers, you can see them from every city that they're in. They're the largest thing in the city. So, Hallman, as you look up. Um, you do manage to see the large tower that would be Hallsworth's tower. Um, it's this giant metal black jagged uh, kind of onyx building once again in the center of this city. Um, and that's where you would have to go um, to get there. It's just so you know. Um, I asked Sakura if, if we can get you to my dad, could you teleport him out of his cell and we can kind of hide him until I, the wedding. I mean, it just depends on if, um, mm-hmm. like the tower or wherever he's locked it is magic proofed or not. Do you want to go find out? <laughs> I mean, I don't really know how to find out, <laughs> but we can try. All right. So Hallman, you look around and you look at the team and, uh, and McCain kind of steps up to you, Holm, and he goes, after Gobblers, if you want, I can take you to Hallsworth's Tower. But um, I do know this, that there's no way in or out without invitation. I mean, it's, it's like the main thing in this city, man. Like McCain kind of scratches his head. We could try, though. I mean, my friends have bribed guards there before, like back in the orphanage. So maybe, I don't know. I think it's worth a shot. I don't have anything else to do until the wedding. Thorin's like, me neither. I I think we should definitely try to do something. By the way, do you guys like the fit? Let's so like, uh, like he kind of steps up to show like McCain and uh, Cyrus his new little like tux. You know, he's, Thorin's pretty proud of himself. He's got his little bushy beard and his little suit on. He looks like it's really slick. He's like, yeah, not many dwarves get to wear things like this. How do you guys think I look? Brandy, you think Brandy would like this? I think she'd like it. Bro, I don't know what you do with Brandy, but whatever she did. She's going to do it again. <laughs> That's how you look. Thorin, go, Thorin interrupts you guys. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. She didn't do, any, she didn't do anything to me. She had, she had a thing for knees. Okay? <laughs> what? Are you what? sure? I mean, you were kind of oh. holding your backside a little bit. I don't know. You kind of wobbling. You kind of look like a penguin. Hey, man, you like what you like. 
I really hope that's a code word for something really dirty. Thorin kind of just hangs his head. He's like, he's like, he's like, I just wanted to hear that I looked good in the suit, and he kind of stomps <laughs> off. He looks sexy as fuck, Thorin. Be proud. Don't worry, you but, still look smashable for her. <laughs> hey. McCain's like, McCain's like, you were smashable, man. And so you guys, uh, he kind of helps lead the group as you finally all get to your destination um, of gobblers. And gobblers, as you guys get there, it's an in the hole of the wall, um, as all the shops are on the lower level shops. It is a large cafeteria like setting with a whole bunch of kind of different buffet foods uh, being made. And you guys watch as different orcs and different type of tabaxi cat people are serving um, the different trays around of all the different types of food. You have mounds of fried chicken. There's a lot of briskets and beefs and, and stews being made. Um, a large orc woman with like large giant like breasts that are like in a, a waitress's, you know, uniform, uh, a lunch lady type of uniform. She kind of is serving like a large uh, kind of green stew. And she goes, <laughs> Green stew, ready? Green pineapple stew? And she kind of mixes it all up and starts pouring it in all these individual bowls. As weird as the food all looks and as delicious as it all looks, the smell of the place is wonderful. It's just mixing with the different smells of the smoke from outside, from the vendors, and uh, all the food. It's a it's a cool venue. So uh, feel free to explore. Um, let's start with you, Sakura. What do you want to go do to eat? Do you want to find anything specifically, or are you looking for to eat something? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna get some noodles. <laughs> okay, so you're going for the. So you're going. So you wanted noodles earlier. You should have spoke up. You would have been nice to you, baby. <laughs> so, so you go around, Sakura. You're looking for the the noodles. Um, Amelia, do you want to follow with Sakura? Are you are you feeling noodly up or again? Are you are you pissed off about noodles? No, I'm still kind of. So like, I feel like at this point, like I've lived in city exactly like this or just kind of seeing it all over again is just like taking it and it's like frustrating for Amalia and like also you know I just saw a dead friend so <laughs> yeah that's it's weighing on your mind so as you guys watch Amelia doesn't even seem to be like very hungry um let's say Amelia that you kind of just go take a seat uh Sakura you kind of look back thinking Amelia was going to follow you towards noodles because she usually likes eating noodles and things like that that you know of from Amelia um and so you kind of were like, oh, shit, she didn't come with me. Um, maybe that's like Sakura Amelia bonding time you've had before off game. You guys have eaten noodles together. So it's kind of weird. I'm actually, you... I'm going to go back and get her and I'm just going to grab her and be like, I think you need to eat some food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get you. So you go grab her and Amelia Sakura just literally comes and like gets you up and like <laughs> drags you towards the noodles thing. <laughs> I kind of, like, reluctantly follow her kind of with, like, my head down. Like, I don't know if I have much of an appetite, but... You know what? I want you both to make, um... Actually, Pip as well. Can you guys all make an investigation uh, or perception rolls for me? Sakura, yeah. Amelia, and... Shit. <laughs> Shit, what's gonna happen? Investigation. Well, they do that. Where are we uh, left for this? <laughs> Cyrus, as you guys do that, um, Cyrus and uh, Holman, you guys take a seat at a large kind of table. It's a round uh, table. There's enough seats for you guys, <laughs> kind of like the one on the ship. Um, okay, what did we get, guys? Sorry, I hold got on. an eight. Ten. Eight. Okay, <laughs> ten. Oh, damn. So you guys didn't really notice. So as you guys are going toward your station, Pippa, you got to chase half the girls like, wait for me. Like, I want to like, join in. Um, Give me the biggest plate. I'm going to fill it up with so much food. So it's like you guys get there. Pippa runs up to the front. And you, uh, you say that as the woman's like, all right, you hungry, cheeky girl. All right, noodles. We need three bowls of noodles. And I want that turkey leg right there, that big one. Oh, you want the big one, don't you? I need some protein. Oh. I can't just have noodles. You got to get that meat in your mouth. I feel you, I girl. Need you, you I, need a, I need an extra bowl of noodles for my little buddy over here. And I point to Sonic. The guy, the orc, once again, they go, What the hell is that thing? <laughs> That's all he all so like a mean mugging that thing right now. So I, Sonic blinks over to the guy's shoulder for a second and then blinks no, back. Oh, 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 shit. He's like, Dad, how much for that thing? How much? Uh, he's priceless, but the show is free. 
<laughs> oh my god. Gee, he looks back at the other orc. Did you see that? The other orc in the back kitchen is like pouring soup, but he's so astounded he's like missing the pot. He's like, because he's just like <laughs> just like pouring it out of the thing. He's like, holy shit. Um, so you guys are all giving your uh, little meals. However, you both, as you guys looked around the room, you didn't seem to notice. It's very crowded. Um, so you guys don't really notice anything in the room that's weird. Just a lot of busy people. Um, Amelia, you kind of take the noodles reluctantly uh, as they kind of hand it to you. And you all take a nice seat at the table. And you all fill up on a nice meal as you guys eat at the buffet. Thorin, you watch as he scarves down a big bowl of noodles. He takes a big a turkey leg himself. He looks at you, Pippa. He's like, good thing you with the turkey legs. He starts pulling them off and eating it like crazy. Uh, Cyrus, you watch as they all eat, as you don't really need <laughs> to eat <laughs> that much yourself. Um, you, t you take a seat next to Sakura, Cyrus, and Sonic is just like looking at you again, uh, kind of growling at you. Cyrus just... I don't even think he's looking at it at this point. He's just like... I don't even know why it's it's growing at him, and he's just he's just pissy right now. So he's just <laughs> kind of just looking. He's just looking down at his hands, like I just, some, some some man just just, as, I don't as know, a, just washed the hell out of my armor. But it was like intimate almost, and I, I don't I don't like it. I got the <laughs> hound back. I I hate it here. I don't want to be here no more. Like that that's all he's thinking. I that, think it's as, pretty noticeable though. As uh as you're kind of just sitting there brooding, um. Sakura, you don't seem to notice that Sonic is... I mean, maybe you notice Sonic's growling, but you don't really seem to notice, Cyrus, that the hound's face starts to like come out of your shoulder and starts to like, growl back at Sonic a little bit. You can like feel as the hound's face kind of like is like... Slap it. Oh, you just <laughs> you slap your... <laughs> as you guys all kind of notice that out of nowhere, Cyrus just slaps his shoulder... Nothing. Uh, I look. Nothing I seems... look at him and I'm like, "What do you? Are you? Do you still have dust on your armor? Like, are you trying to clean the uh, the armor?" <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. It, dust, dust. He he looks down away from you guys as uh, as Cyrus. You kind of then feel your shoulder. The face of the hound is no longer there. However, Sonic is still growling at you. At this moment, you guys all take a nice, uh, like I said, a meal. You enjoy yourselves. You get a little bit of rest and relaxation in. Um, and then about, let's say, an hour goes by. It's probably around 9 o'clock at this point, 9 p.m. Because um, let's let's review the day. You guys went through the check-in system, were teleported into a tower, regrouped together, for unfortunately shoved into a fight immediately in the middle of your day, Managed to survive that. Went and checked in at your hotel. Visited the church. And now you've eaten a meal. It's been a rather long day. So you guys find yourself here at around, like I said, 9 o'clock at night. Finishing up your meal. What would you like to do now? <clears throat> Let's go to Holman. Well, time to go see if we can uh, save my dad's life, I guess. That, that's what I want to do. I, I understand if y'all are tired. And it's been a long day. McCain kind of goes like, Yeah, I'm kind of sleepy, man. I'm not going to lie. If, if, no, if, if, if you don't want to come, I, I get it. Uh, I feel like this is something I need to do. I mean, like, <laughs> you can't go by yourself. Do you have a game plan? Uh... Yeah, I have my plan. axe. No, but we gotta figure out where your dad is at. He's at the he's at the tower. And Thorin, yeah, Thorin I know nothing else. Thorin pipes up. Well, I mean, we're gonna be at the tower tomorrow, right? For the wedding. I mean, that's where it is, yeah. Where where is this where is the wedding? Kind of Thorin looks around, like, do we even know where the wedding is? Maybe we could check Shit. the invites. <laughs> Well, I mean, we're already invited. It's just, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but where... didn't we get some invitations? Oh, yeah. Pretty sure we did. Invitations, right. And the cane goes, oh, yeah. And he kind of reaches in his bag and satchel and he pulls out the invitations that he stole. 
and places them on the table. I don't really know how to read too well, so who can read this shit? So Nakane kind of slides it over to Amelia. You're political here. He kind of points it up. <laughs> and Amelia, do you want to make a, a wisdom check for me, please? Yes. Let's see. <laughs> Hope there's no armor rule. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a rough night. I got seven. <laughs> oh no! So <laughs> can I roll for it? Unfortunately, Amelia, the 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 paper with the the invite, like McCain's had it. It's been all like in his shit, and the ink is kind of run, and it's all ripped up and crinkly, and you can't really make out where the location on the invite. You can't really read where it even says. It's kind can of we, all. Can I can try ask... reading? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, can I try? Or yeah, you guys can all try. Roll, roll for it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, what do we wisdom? roll? Okay, just wisdom. do wisdom. Do wisdom. Got this. Watch this. Give me a natural. Or, or intelligence. Wisdom or intelligence. Either. <laughs> I got a twenty-one. Oh, oh <laughs> twenty-one. You can't read it either, Hulk. You're just like I can't make that shit out. It's all ripped up. That's a two for that one. Uh, no I got no one a all right. Okay, Sakura. Okay, Sakura. So Sakura, you end up you end up kind of taking it, Sakura, and you really like, you know, like fold it out and make it flat, and you're like, fucking a. And it's like look, look down, you read it, and Sakura, you can see that it reads that the wedding will be taking place at the stadium. So the stadium that you guys were at, it's not at the tower. It's going to be back at the stadium um, that you guys came from. That's where the wedding is. So. How far away is the stadium from the tower? Um, the stadium is, I don't know, it's probably, it's about halfway through town. Like I said, it's closer to where you guys are right now. You're close to the stadium at this moment. Um, you're about probably, I don't know, five blocks away from the tower. <clears throat> okay, uh, well, uh, I... what's the plan then? <laughs> you want to go tonight? Well, if we go tonight... I feel like I just feel like I need to see my dad, but I also think we could. There might be less guards there during a wedding, too. Well, maybe we can just go visit him and figure out where he's at tonight then. And then when the wedding's going on tomorrow, then maybe we can, you know, do some sneaking around and just pluck him out. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm done. At that moment, since you guys didn't have very good perception earlier, <laughs> you don't realize that entering the room is Rhaegar Drew Hallsworth himself, as he has a couple guards surrounding him at a table, and he stands. Brother-in-law! Brother-in-law! Oh, God. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna tap him and be like, hey, don't even talk to him. Don't even look at him. Don't even look at him. Just look at us. Bro, I I, I didn't want to kill anyone else tonight, but like I swear to God. <laughs> he gets up, he kind of gets up to the table. I'm glad I see you, ladies. I'm so sorry, but gentlemen, I was going to find you tonight. What serendipity that we happen to run here into each other. What is it your bachelor party? <laughs> My dear, you are on the money. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, boys, I couldn't celebrate it without my very special new brother-in-law. Well, what about your and new father-in-law? My father-in-law? Doesn't he belong at uh, the bachelor party? <laughs> well, I mean, I like to have, let's just say... The young men around me. He I mean, looks come down. on, give him, a, give him a, a night off, give him a pass tonight. You only get one wedding, I think, right? I think I want to have some fun with your friends. And at that moment, he teleports Cyrus, Hallman, Thorin, oh. and Warp Nipple <laughs> into <laughs> another location. So, girls, I'm so sorry, girls, but your friends immediately are right in front of you. Once again, teleported to another location. However, Nikane is left with you girls as he's a child and not invited to the bachelor party. So you girls all sit at the gobbler as Hallman and Cyrus 
Warp Nipple and Thorin are is, taken to another location. Is, wait, is uh, what's his name? Is Hallsworth still there? No, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> you were about to like straight up Burke, and I swear that would have been great. I'm, I'm so, this man. Me. They gotta stop doing that. Cyrus Hallman, as you enter a room, you kind of are both alone, just you two. You can hear Nicane. I'm uh, not Nicane, sorry. You can hear Thorin and Warp Nipple. Uh, sorry, Warp Nipple's not there. Thorin um, in the room with you, but he's in another location. And Thorin goes, Guys! Help! Help! As you guys look around the room, you can see that Thorin is tied to the wall with two kind of gimp handcuffed chains kind of holding him there. His little dwarf body like, oh, Guys! And as you both turn around, Drew, kind of before he teleports out of the room again, says, I hope you enjoy this gift, brother, as much as I enjoyed them. These are the two magnificent orc twins, Lita and Bet. They're not only twins, but they're amazing lovers of each other and any who pays them well. They're also amazing assassins. At that moment, you see these two barbarian orc women, topless, just wearing thongs, but holding giant blades each, both come out into the room. They're like orc prostitutes, but they're barbarians and giant. I need you two, Cyrus and Hallman, to make an initiative roll for me, please. God damn. I just got this suit. I just got this suit. And I'm ready today. I was ready. Uh, Come on. I got some for them. Okay. Don't worry, girl. We'll get back to you guys too. Okay, Hallman, good job. Good job at 19. Come on, bro. Why is that app so slow? I hate it here. I swear, yeah. if you if you ruin this suit, Jay, I'm going I'm going to be mad. The reason why I ain't getting no suit. So come on, please be good. Please. please. Okay, good. Oh, you yeah! both good. Nice. Oh. Nice. All right. So so Hallman. And Cyrus, you both go first. Hallman, you're going to go first as these two orc kind of women. Remember, they're both topless. They're not wearing really wearing much armor. Um, however, they're extremely thick skinned. And you need to, it gave them for some reason extremely high armor class, but I'm going to take that down. You do need to beat a 15 still. Um, but for some reason, it gave them an extremely high one. I don't know why. Uh, so yeah, so these two orc barbarian women turn to attack both of you. Hallman, you're up. Uh, Cyrus, how much money you got? Quick. I'm not paying that. God damn it. All right. You got some <laughs> coins you can throw them at us. <laughs> uh, I'll go for Only coins I'm getting. You know what? I'm going I'm to stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me. I'm pissed off again, so I'm going to initiate rage. I'm going to go for the one on left. Initiate rage. <laughs> Cyrus, you watch as your barbarian friend just. He grows giant as his muscles flex. What do you want to do, man? Uh, I'm going to go for the one on the left with my axe. Okay, so you take out rows. And ma- you manage to still have your equipment on you as you've been here, and you hit. You do hit. So what's the damage she takes? Uh, Ten. Ten damage. Okay, plus two, obviously, so twelve. Yes. So nice. She, she, got, she took twelve damage. You swing. You hit one of the orc women. She bashes uh, into the wall. You guys are within seven feet, by the way, of these women. You're in a room. Remember? It's like, once again, a, a round room with blankets and curtains and kind of gimp and sexual stuff all over the room. It's kind of like you're in a, a sex dungeon type of room uh, that he sent you to um, and sent these women after you. So He's not in the room with us, right? Uh, he's out, he's out right now. He's okay. teleported out. Uh, but Thorin is on the wall, however, still. Uh, okay. Hallman, you, you have another action you can do, Hallman. <clears throat> yeah, I think with Frenzy, I can do a single melee weapon attack as a bonus. So yep. I'm just going to use all of my actions to try to kill her. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that, damn it. You don't hit on that one. You don't hit on the second one. And uh, so that's it, I believe. Yeah, I don't hit on my bonus. Never, okay, this is. I'm going to start rolling the real die. <laughs> <laughs> and, all right, so we are on Cyrus. You're up next, man. All right, I immediately pull out that 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 moon touch sword. I'm, I'm ready to test it out. Love it, love it. All right, I'm gonna roll, roll die. Please be, please be good. Don't give me nothing bad. 
Okay, 15. All right, 21. Okay. Pretty 21. well today. 21, 21, 21, 21. Do something for me. Blackjack. Come on, come on. I'm a row for damage. And I'm assuming you're taking on the other one, so. So, hen right there. Hen. Swing, so I'm going to go roll die again. Hopefully this makes it again. Swing. So you're taking this blue, the blue, the sword looks sick, by the way, as you're in this uh, kind of dark sex dungeon, the moonlight does radiate off the sword, so you slice her, you kind of watch, it's like a, a kind of moonlight slice happens as the blood kind of leaks out of her arm. Um, does she get hit on the second one? Uh, yeah, I got a 15, does that make it? Yeah, yeah, you got a 15. Okay, I'm going to roll for damage again. You have to just beat 15, so it's not the worst with you, and you have a pretty good hit, so... Okay. Uh, just waiting for damage. Now this one's taking long. Hold on. That's all you give me. Don't worry, girls. We'll get back to you in the cafeteria in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, way to help us out. Like, damn. <laughs> just, just, just some boys and some whores. Just some boys and some whores. Come on. What's that damage, Cyrus? Sorry. Uh, it's not popping up for me for some reason. All right. You know, I'll roll damage on this one if you don't mind. I'll just roll it. Um, okay. I'll give them, um, let's say that they got 13 damage. Okay. All right. There's 10. So next, and then one more attack. Yeah. Because I got an extra attack since I leveled up. I'm going to try. Yes, you do. And on this last one, I'm going to like. Put the sword down and take a step back and go for an Eldritch Blast. Got you. So you take a step back, you kind of focus, and you blast your uh, the Ooh. magic from inside you from the hound. Shoots out. Um, and you got to break that again. Nat 20. Um, and what does that hit? Um, God dang it, it's not. <laughs> Let me see if I can do a 10. Just roll real dice. It's fine. The app. Yeah, like I'm I said, just gonna roll. Fine. Hey, Let's see what I get. Ten. Okay, ten. That's fine. I did a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they do it. Brought one down to eighty. The other one is at seventy-five. Okay, so now the orcs turn. So one of the orcs, she's gonna take out her blade. And she's going to swing at you, Holman. She's going to run at you. She's got to break a 19. Don't, don't, got, don't hurt the suit. Don't hurt the suit. <laughs> don't hit the suit. <laughs> don't, don't hit the suit. Don't uh, hit the suit. They're going to hit the okay, suit. So she, so she does hit you. So Holman, you take, you take a slice and you get uh, the damage to that is going to be <laughs> nine hit points of damage. My brand new suit. I know. Yeah. So you take the suit. Unfortunately, your kind of beautiful, like beautiful pimp esque suit gets sliced in the front, and of course you're pissed about it. She's gonna do another <laughs> slice at you. It does not hit the second time. So she swings her axe again, but she misses. The other girl, however, turns to you, Cyrus. The other orc woman goes, "Hey, baby," and she kind of gives you a kiss, Mwah! and she kind of is gonna take a swing at you. You have a high armor class. She has a plus five, though, does not hit. But she takes another swing, swah, and you do take a hit on that one because she got a 16 with a plus. So you take uh, another nine uh, hit points of damage, Cyrus. Oh, okay. And uh, that's their turns. Um, Holman, you're up next. <laughs> My fucking suit, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna roll. <laughs> Um, by the way, I think, um, not even think, Cyrus gags the moment she, like, gives him a smooch. He's like, ugh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> like, ugh, orc smooches. I got a, I got a 17 from our first one. Okay, so you hit her. It is 11 damage. 13 damage, got you. So I'm, I'm using, I'm using all my attacks on the same one that I originally did. Got you. She's the one that attacked you, so yeah. Seven, no, I didn't... I didn't get the second one. I only got seven plus six. 
third one. <laughs> Did you hit no? I got oh. one. Okay, so no, so you don't hit your te- your other time. So good hit the first one though. Cyrus, you're up. Oh uh, damn it! <laughs> right. Uh, which one is the lower one? The lower one is the one closest to him. The stronger one is closer to you. Okay, then. Um, one that swooshed at me. Now she's getting bodied. All right, I'm gonna swing okay. at her with the with, with the sword. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go roll die. Just do it. Come on. Give me another one. Okay, I got. I like, I like hearing that die. The six. Okay, no, I, I made it. I got a, a seventeen. Okay, seventeen. What's the damage? All right. All right. Let's see if it's gonna go this time. To reload the app. All right, there we go. It's actually going this time. Uh. Okay, six. Eh. Well, a 12. Got you. All right, and I'm going to take another swing. Swing again. Take out your giant moon blade again. The right. shine swings. The, the, or- the orc woman, she's taking the thing. You cut it right above her boob. She should be wearing a shirt. She's not. So she's like bleeding out of her top right above her chest. I got a 17 again. Got you. Okay, cool. Good job. You're doing, you see, rolling real dice is good. You have a lot of pluses on your stuff, so that's probably yeah, why. Yeah, so it makes it even better. Yes, sir. You had a good level. Right. Great okay. level. Seven, seven. Cool. And so you I hit her. One more. Seven damage. Shoom. So you cut her. You got one more attack. All right. This time I'm going to do a witch boat. Got it. You send out your magic once again. You keep taking nice slices at them. And you're slicing up these orc women. Then you're blasting them again. Uh, you got to beat it. All right. Bam. I got a, I got a 20. Got you. Okay, so what about the what about the hit? Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a back seat to this. I'm doing good today. Oh my gosh. You, you can take them both on, right? This is the best. This is the best you've done. Okay, what I what it was Eight. Okay, that's good. That's okay. All right. All right. So good job. So you hit her back. She's taking a lot of hits. She she kind of sliced up all of her front. Her like tits are like basically all bloodied up, and she's kind of bleeding from part of her mouth. And she kind of looks at you like, huh? And she kind of springs towards you, Cyrus. She's going to spring towards you. And she's going to attack. So Cyrus, she's going to attack you with her axe. She's got to break your armor class 20. She does not hit you on that one. But she swings again violently. She hits you on that one, Cyrus. So you take a hit. You take another 9 plus 5. So you take 14 damage on that one. Okay. Cyrus, ugh. so she slices you, Cyrus. She manages to clink through your armor and take happen. a part of your arm and get you a nice gash through the uh, through your armor, which is once again it's a little bit beat up. So you've taken the hit. Um, the next orc woman, she's gonna attack you, Palman, again, and she does not hit you. And she hits you on that one. She rolled a seventeen. So Hallman, you take another hit. They're great axe plus. An eight, Jesus. She take eleven damage, Almond. Each. Okay. So that leads. That leads to you, my friend. Uh, I'm gonna start swinging back. Here we go. Ten plus six. That's sixteen. That one hits. Nice. Give me your damage. Give me your damage. <laughs> oh, four. Oh my it's a, it's gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not look at me right now? I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best. Hey, I appreciate you hitting how you use it. Um, I missed on my second one because I got a okay. two. You missed on the second one. Uh, my third one only adds up to fourteen. So you know, I'm just gonna, Cyrus. You got this. You got this. You got this. Help me! No. <laughs> 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 Okay, so Bro, Cyrus, my suit is wrecked. I'm a little distracted right now, okay? Cyrus, you're up next. Alright. Uh, Alright, we're gonna take another swing. We're gonna do the same, we're gonna do the same thing. I ain't gonna change it if it's working. Yeah, hey. 
if the if the dice gods are working towards your routine, don't switch it up. Alright. Um I'm gonna take a roll. Okay. Alright, got a thirteen with a plus six. So I, I made oh. that. Okay, yeah, it's a four, yeah. Alright, and then we're gonna do the damage roll. Blood hunters, paladins, and clerics get a lot of high stuff sometimes, everybody. I'm so proud of myself today. And monks, too. What's the damage on that one? Uh, it's rolling right now. Okay. Hopefully it's rolling. Alright, there he is. I got a... Come on. Seven on that one. Okay. I'm gonna take another swing. Eleven plus six, seventeen. And we're gonna take. We we'll do some more damage on that you one. You got. You got the one that you're fighting halfway down. Okay. So damage on this one. All right. I got another seven. Fantastic. And then on this last one. We're gonna we're gonna go for another witch boat. Okay. Come on. Okay. I got an eighteen on this one. Okay. So as you hit her on this one, you also are gonna knock her back uh, a couple feet, and she has to make a dexterity saving throw because you're actually knocking her towards where I there's a window in the room. Um. So damn, that's a that's a good hit. So. 18 damage. Nice. So as you hit her, though, she needs to make a dexterity saving throw because you're going to hit her, but she was in the the realm of being near a window. And so you've hit her, Cyrus. So we got to see if she doesn't fall out the window. And she does it with a two. So you knock one of these black, uh, the, the nice. black horse women, they're called, um, and you knock her as through the window. So she takes the hit, and you manage to knock her out through the window. So this, woman, this black orc kind of woman, she uh, gets hit, and you watch as the blood shoots out of her Cyrus, and she looks at you like, oh, shit! And she flies out the window, and you've knocked her out of the room completely. So she takes the hit, she flies out the window, she's done for. Um, she takes the damage. I, I don't know how much falling damage that would be. I didn't really calculate that, to be honest with you. Uh, but you hit her out the window. So she's. I'm going to KO that. With From a twenty-one and to the wall. <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> Bitches fall. Uh, you got right. home. Hey, take care of yours. Take care of yours. You <laughs> well, fuck you, man. You're up. Fuck you. Got you. It. you got it. However, however, the other orc woman, Hallman, she looks terrified as her friend is just shot out the window. Her lover, her sister, she goes, no, best. And then she turns to you. She's like, "You're going to pay for that." And then she turns to Thorin on the wall and looks to your door friend. I'm going to cut him open. And she's going to run up to where Thorin is and try to attack your friend Thorin. Oh, shit. And I got to try to break his armor class. She does not. So she tries to <laughs> swipe at Thorin. She, however, Thorin kind of moves like, huh. It kind of dodges the, uh, the thing. She swings again, though. Ah, fuck. She misses again. So she swings again. And Thorin, lucky bastard, he's not here. He moves like this. And Thorn again manages to miss the swing. She goes, God damn it. And she tries as she kind of regathers herself. Uh Holman, you're up. So you're telling me the man that got chained to the wall, his suit is fine. But me. <laughs> <laughs> me. Alright, I'm tackling her. I'm gonna try to drag her away from Thorin. Alright, she's uh, gonna grapple. So you go up, you gotta break uh you gotta break a uh, fifteen. I do not. Okay, so you didn't do it on that one. So you kind of run up to her, but she's in a frenzy, and you kind of miss the grab, and she kind of pulls back with her axe. Don't you dare! And you kind of, she's kind of, uh, is right there. You want to try to do something else? Uh, is she still between between me and Thorn? Yeah. You're basically okay. right in, Thorn and you are right, she's right in the middle of you two. So what, 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 would, it, what would a grapple be? Like a strength thing? Um, yeah, it's just a grapple. It's with your plus your yeah. strength, and you just have to roll and beat it. Yeah, I, I didn't beat it then. Okay. Um, 
I mean, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna try again because uh, I'm gonna try with the computer this time. See what happens. Oh, right, there we go. Also, you also have a plus two on it because you're rage. So oh, that's true. Do. Well, I, so I still don't. missed the first time though. All right, so you grapple her. You definitely got her. You run up and tackle her against Cyrus. You watch. As he grapples her down to the ground, and uh, you got her. Um, you got one more attack you can do, Holman, I believe. So you got her. Uh. My fucking suit. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm gonna. Uh, if I have both hands on her, I'm just gonna try to use a, like, unarmed strike. Okay, go for it. Plus two, you, you hit. You hit because you got a plus two on it. Oh, is that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah. So I hit. Yeah. With rage. So. So four plus. That's so six. six. Yeah. Nice job. And you're still, you're by the way, you're five feet away from the window, just so you know, Holman. Mm -hmm. You got her to grapple, and she needs to roll. Cyrus, you're actually up, so you can attack her if you want, but he's, she, he's got her grappled. Okay, you can stab so, her in the face if you want. So is that still alive? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can stab her in the face. <laughs> like, like, come on, dude. <laughs> Don't make me do this alone, please. I'm having a bad night. Uh, we... My sister so, yeah, is wearing my enemy. The window? Yeah, she, you guys are five feet from the window. So, like, is that the one like hanging, like off the, off the window? Oh, right now? she's dead. She's oh, dead. Oh no, she's she's gone. You you've she's gone. Hit okay. Her out mm -hmm. of the window. It's about you guys are about like fifty feet. I don't even know how long you guys. Let's say you're like five stories up or something like that. I don't know. I didn't calculate this part. I probably should have, but I didn't. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna ask. How how big is she? Because I'm about to aim <laughs> her head with a eldritch blast. Uh. She's she's pretty big. She's a big orc woman. They're called black okay. orcs. It's this breed of uh, orcs. They're pretty big. All right, because I don't want to hit home, and I'm a, I'm going for an <laughs> blast. Uh, all right. So you're uh -oh. if you want to focus and try to hit her, uh, you have a good focus. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll say it's okay. You're trying to focus to hit her. He's got her. Okay. Um, go for we it. We got it. I'm about to go for this. Come on. Yeah. That's uh, seventeen. Okay. Yeah, because you have a plus six today. on. All right, and then we're gonna go for Eldritch Blast. Yeah. So you kind of focus and home, and you got her on the ground. She's like squirming, like you motherfucker, and she's kind of just just on the ground. You got her, and so but you you send out a blast, Cyrus, once again as you focus. You kind of aim it right at her face. She's squirming. Um, what's the damage she takes? Uh, I'm about to. We'll roll real quick. Right, there we go. Let's try to do a natural. There it goes. Come on. Eh, got a four on that one. So, all right. I got four on that one. I'm going to okay. do another row. I'm going to try the same thing again. Okay. Another Eldritch Blast. She takes one hit to the face. You kind of hit her there. Oops. 16 with plus 6. I made that. 16. Okay, yeah. That's a good one, man. Damn. Remember, if you guys oh, need somebody to hit, Cyrus has got a, a good plus hit. <laughs> okay. I got it. Got an 8. And that doesn't take her off. She's about to get one more. Okay. Man, <laughs> Golly. You, you, got, you guys oh. got her down to 30. She's getting down to 30 now. So you guys brought her down to 30. Um, so you've got you got a little bit more to do, but she's getting there. All right, got eleven, six. All right, we we made it. Let this one be a ten. I hear whooping her ass. <laughs> Amelia, why are you making dex throws? <laughs> I got I got a two, a two. So four, eight, two. Four, eight, two. Okay, okay, two. There you go. Another one. Cool. Okay, so she's down to 22 now after everything completely there. Holman, you're up next. She's uh, Isn't it her turn? Yeah, but she didn't. She's not. I don't I don't know if she'll be able to break your grapple. Um, I just rolled again for it. No. Out of both moves, she did not make any of her. Cool, cool, cool. So if I, if I start trying to, like, stab down with my weapon, like, is that going to weaken my, like, hold on her or no? 
I don't. Yeah, I don't think you can. I don't think you can let go of her while you got her in a grapple like that. But mm -hmm. have her, so you can definitely like attack her right now. You still have her held. Okay. Well, but if you I'm, but if you want to use your weapon, you're gonna have to like let her go and and use yeah. it. You know what I mean? All right. Well, I'll just I'll start swinging. <laughs> Okay, so you start punching her in the face. All right, so. punching her. Nineteen. So that one's six. Okay. Okay. So that's six plus two. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Uh, so you're just like, six. Yeah, you're just basically beating her into a bloody pulp. And, okay, we don't talk. I think about I'm just it. cheering them. I'm like, you got it, home. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> What what punches? Is, well, you, the, got one, you got one more, right? No, that was the last one. I, I got oh, eight for the last one. Oh, you so. hit, okay. No, did you not hit or did you hit? I, I didn't hit uh, for the last one. I just hit for two. Okay, cool. So she got that. She's down, though, um, to six. Okay, so you guys got six hit points left. And Osiris, you're up. You, got, you can take her out, maybe. Chop her head off. Chop her head off. Do, do you want me to chop it or you want me to blast your head off? <laughs> if you blast it off and you get more blood on this suit, you and me are fighting next. So. I mean, if I chop it, there's going to be more on there. I think you should let go. But you know what? I got you. Okay. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Think, Have fun so with it. I'm going to pick up my, my great sword and just take a swing for her head. Okay. Go for it. Let's see what I get. Oh, I got a 15 plus 6. Nice. Okay. So you hit. You definitely hit. See how much I get. Oh, yeah. She's done. <laughs> she's <laughs> done. I got a 14. Okay. <laughs> so you take, your you, take the moon, you take the moon. You take the moon blade and Hallman. As you look up, you see your friend Cyrus just standing above you with his glowing moon blade. And he lifts it up and you slice off the head of this orc woman as she looks up like, oh shit, as she chop it right off and Holman, as you grab hold her body, you feel it go limp as her orc head rolls on the ground. Thorn goes, oh shit. Oh fuck, thank God. Um, immediately you guys hear the voice of Rhaegar Hallsworth. Well done, brother-in-law. Well done. And you all are immediately teleported out of the room back to your friends in the cafeteria your <laughs> girls are all just basically have been there but they've been doing their own thing because during this time right after we take a small break <laughs> we're gonna get to what the girls were doing so we're gonna take a small break um i'm gonna put up the watch screen for you jade and you can play that we'll be back in about five minutes everybody all right <laughs> got you homie I, Bro, I that was embarrassing today. i finally <laughs> did my thing man i'm so happy I'm you know, sakura this. is a lucky lady <laughs> Carry the team. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go sulk now. Look, maybe you shouldn't fight in like your brand new fancy suit. <laughs> How is, if someone had rolled a better perception, <laughs> maybe. Maybe you should have gotten naked. And red, and red. <laughs> Okay. It's full of jobs and facts and figures, <laughs> and things were much too young. To I'm having know. a bad night. I told everyone it was gonna be a bad night. I love it Damn when it. you read to me, and you, you can read me anything. The Book of Love has music in it. In fact, that's where music comes from. Some of it's just transcendental and all the rest just really dumb. But I, I love it when you sing to me and you you can sing me anything, yeah, you can sing me anything, and you can sing me anything. I'm a blackjack and this is a banjo. Thank you very much. Uh... And now, presenting.
the girls from the misfits of Mala from Spicy and Dicey. Oh, oh yeah. I have this monster or best friend, whatever. Uh, he's been living with me since I was a kid, and he, he's he's cool. everybody we are back from our little break and we are going to continue so i hope you're all there um we're going to start exactly where we just left off right, yes sir with uh the boys you guys were just taken away to go fight some orc prostitutes and uh you while you were away the girls were left in immediate what is going on so you girls were all left there with mccain as well and mccain's like what why don't I get to go to the bachelor party? What the hell? I'm old enough. Why am I old enough? Does he not see the blood on me? <laughs> no, no, no. You're not there right now. This is right okay. after. Okay, sorry. Just left. 
Andrew Biden. I know that would be <laughs> that's a little funny. But anyway, so you guys have just left. So uh Decane's like, what? Oh man. I'm old enough to go, right? You do whatever it is that they've decided to torture them with now, you're not missing out on. I bet it's cool torture. He kinda like God, like crosses his arms and gets all like pouty. Um, at that moment, Sakura, uh, you hear a voice from behind you go, My lady, my love, my Sakura. And as you turn around, you see a familiar face with little Pete, the white monkey from your past, oh. as he is on his knees looking down to you. And he gets back up. Oh my god, it's so good to see you! And he puts his arms around your leg, Sakura. <laughs> he just, like, squeezes it. He does, like, the little monkey humps, like, I love to see you so much! And he kind of, like, just gives you a big hug and lets you go and looks at your dog. What the hell is that thing? What, what's that? Um, Blink just... Er, <laughs> Blink. Sonic <laughs> just blinks into his hands. <laughs> Whoa! This is incredible! It's cuter than me. And he kind of looks at like his little face and puts it up to his monkey face. You're so cute. You're so cute. And he just kind of growls. And I'm like, Arr. here you go. <laughs> he kind of gives it back to you. Sakura. Ba. Amelia. How have you guys been? Hey, we're pretty good. What? Yeah. Well, yeah. I've been pretty good too. Just, you know, taking care of business. You know, after you guys left, I was made the mayor of the treetops and, uh, you know, I broke up with my girl. She was holding me back. I was like, you know, I can get somebody better. Somebody with pink hair, maybe. <laughs> he kind of looks up to you, soccer, like kind of his little monkey eyebrows. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I was just thinking. I had to see more of the world. This man is so lucky. <laughs> offer up offer up more of my services to all the people. In fact, I was really lucky because I went to go look for you guys again because you guys were like, we're going to Ulrich. We're going to be out doing adventures. And I was like, I think I want to be with soccer on those adventures. And then I went looking for you guys and I found Connor in the woods. And he was all like dazed and confused and crazy. And then Where we went out now? looking. What? Where is he now? Oh. Um, he kind of looks around. He told me not to come and talk to you. He mainly wanted me to grab Sakura. He has to talk to her. I'm sorry. Well, that's too bad. We're all gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, I can take you to him. Just He looks to you, Amelia. Just be gentle when you see him. Okay? And at that moment, the boys teleport back from where they were. I'm almost as if immediately, like within the last couple minutes, just, and Tom and you, Cyrus, Thorin, all plop down at the table next to the three girls. You guys are covered in blood and, and all kind of... <laughs> and uh, Thorin is all like, he has the gimp marks on his hands from where he just was. He's like, Ugh. oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. I swear to god, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Nikane was like, I knew I missed out on all the fun. What the hell happened? No, you did not miss out. I had to kill two big black orc ladies. And it was not fun. And now I need new armor. And now my I want to trade out my armor. I hate it. God damn it. This suit, it's broken. It's done. <laughs> no, I don't want to be here anymore. You guys were gone for like two minutes. It felt like an hour. <laughs> Holman, what were you saying before? No, I, oh, I said I was just yelling that I was, I'm going to kill him. Like, I'm, 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 I'm talking about uh, Rhaegar. <laughs> well, Pete, Pete, Pete goes, calm down, calm down. I don't know who you guys are, but calm down. You're going to create a commotion. He looks around the, the restaurant, as you guys all notice, that the guards from Hallsworth's table kind of slowly start to get up, noticing that you guys have returned. And some of the people in the gobbler seem to be kind of getting a little, um, let's just say, uneased by your presence. Um, but Pete goes, look, we're all going to go to the wedding tomorrow, right? You guys were invited. 
we were invited. Why do you think we're here? We got to talk to Hallsworth ourselves too. You know, the Hallsworths are all in on this thing with this. He kind of leans his, leans into you guys. The stones. And he kind of winks to Sakura. Uh, Sakura. He kind of looks to you. He's like, look, we're all here for similar reasons. That's why I had to come look for you guys. Just follow me, okay? So kind of Pete starts leading his way. He kind of starts going to the crowd of the gobbler. Do um, you guys want to follow? What do you, what do you, what do you guys want to do? Yeah, let's yeah, go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, what do you think? You've been quiet. I'm going to follow him, but I'm also going to put, like, my hood over my head. So that way, like... <laughs> She just looks more emo. <laughs> As a uh, um, I'm going to stay by um, Amelia, but at the same time, I am going to be like glaring at that monkey. Because I saw that Pete, and he's glaring at him real hard. Because as, as you watch, uh, Pete kind of grabs Sakura's hand and is like, this way, Sakura, come on. <laughs> kind of like starts like holding her hand, like just like as if he's very familiar with, with her. Um, as uh, as you kind of start walking your way, I don't know how you feel about that soccer, but Pete is just he's very he's very touchy with you, not inappropriately, but he's it's like I can he always hop her leg like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, but it's like a, it's like a, he's a bug. He's like, like a dog. puppy. Yeah, and he, and he's kind of like <laughs> he's being as if like you know when a child is like overly affectionate towards like you know they have a babysitter that they like. It's kind of that type of vibe. Um, and so it intensifies. <laughs> his glare intensifies. As uh, you're like jealous that he gets the older hand. Um, can, you... can I catch the glare and be like, "Sorry, she's jealous of a monkey." Come on. No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. It's, it's a, mon- <laughs> it's a stupid no. monkey. It's not. No, I'm not. A, no, let's just keep going. Come on. <laughs> so once again, you're called out as Pippa kind of lets you kind of looks. And kind of like looks towards Amelia and gives her like a, a little hit on the shoulder, being like, "You see that?" And stuff. So kind of like, but I think Amelia is still a little bit in a, in a not a right state of mind. So as you all uh, exit the Gobbler, Pete kind of leads you guys towards that street that you have come down. But he kind of leads you to another little back alleyway, um, door, uh, down the streets of Drew. Um, you kind of see the looming, uh. Coleman, at least you really seem focused on the looming Hallsworth's tower that is really tall and the fog from above seems to be now coming in for the, for the nighttime, um, covering the top of the tower where you know your father is at this point being held. Um, as you guys make your way to this little corridor, you go into this kind of small room that Pete kind of leads you through. It's a dark, like big, heavy door that he presses through and you guys enter this room. McCain goes, whoa. I've never been back down this street before. As you guys kind of walk into this dark, kind of steedy, underground kind of pub uh, venue, um, you see on the wall that it's called The Eye. And there's just kind of like a neon sign. It's what you guys would call neon, but it's like magic. It's like a, a kind of blinking magic eye light. It's on the wall as you kind of head down these stairs. As you get down there, you once again hear a familiar voice uh, with the sound of Foxface, your old friend, as you hear him coming from downstairs at the bar. Look, I don't know how we're going to get bloody out of this city. I don't know how we got fucking into this city, but we need to get it done. All right? You understand? If it's true about what you're saying about these stones, Connor, we're fucked. So we need to handle this now. We don't have time to be messing around with... At that moment, Foxface notices as you guys all enter... The pub. Um, at that moment, he stands up. He looks to you, Sakura. Jesus. It's been a while, hasn't it? How you been? Pete, let go of her. Oh, <laughs> kind of like lets go of your hand and crawls up onto the table and sits down. You know I told you don't touch her like that. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. <laughs> he kind of Good. goes away. Foxface approaches you. He gives you a big hug, Sakura. He then turns to give Pippa a big hug. Foxface. How uh, you doing, lovely? You doing all right? Good to see you. Yeah, we're all right. I heard you guys took out that dragon. Real well done. I'm proud of you. Been Thanks. A, been a long time since I heard about a loon taking down a dragon. You'd make your father happy, eh? Right? That's what I was thinking. Do you know if he died? 
fighting that dragon? Well, Zha Zha, my grandpa, said that, you know, he didn't know who uh, made it or not. He never found their remains, but doesn't mean they're alive or not. Shit. Your father was a good bloke. I met him a couple times. I don't know if I ever told you that. Kind of didn't want to bring it up too much, just in case. But it's good to see you, darling. Where's that boyfriend of yours, the big blue dragon boy? Where is he? He's not here with us right now, but we're going to go meet up with him again soon. Oh, good. He's doing great, though. I like that boy. He's got the voice of an angel. I love him. We have a few venues now, so, you know, racking in the money. And then he looks to you, Amelia. Hi, darling. How you been? I just kind of, like, stare past Foxface and stare directly at Connor and don't say anything. He kind of looks back at Connor, at, sitting at the table you can see in the corner. Yeah. Um, Got to put your, his hand on your shoulder, Amelia. Be gentle when you talk to him. And he kind of lets go. It's, be careful. At that moment, uh, you see as Connor stands up from a table in the back, Hallman, Cyrus, you guys have not met some of these people. Um, they kind of look around. Uh, Connor stands up um, and kind of just stands at a table, almost waiting for Amelia to kind of approach him. However, uh, Foxface turns to you, Cyrus, and Hallman. Hello, boys. Name's Foxface. One of the best mercenaries you'll ever find in all of Mala. You need something done. You need something stolen. You need something figured out. I'm the boy to do it for you. Don't mind my face. I know I look like a fox. Long story. Bitch turned me into a fox face man. That's really the end of it, really. As a witch, I stole peppers from her. My face looks like this. That's it. However, I know these girls from back in the day. I hired them to help me find some stones. How's the luck going with that, girls? He looks at the three of you. Any luck? <clears throat> um, no. I mean, I think a little bit. Guys, find any. Looks to you, Amelia. You were the one that had it, right? It was you. I have a stupid, stupid stone. It's not as stupid as you think, love. I remember when you thought that was just something to steal from a Hallsworth. Go ask him about it. He kind of points to Connor. And then Pete sits at the table and looks to Cyrus and Holman. I'm a monkey. Um... I'm going to marry Sakura, so no pressure or anything. Just letting you guys know. I look over at Cyrus. You just slowly see Cyrus kind of like reach for his sword. <laughs> and he'll keep his hand on the, on the hill, just like, nah, no, like, no. At that, at, uh, at that moment, <laughs> Connor, Connor kind of then starts approaching you guys. Hey, it's been a long time. Um, I know this is weird. Uh, Sakura, I need to talk to you, um, immediately. Um, he can, you can tell Amelia that he's trying to ignore you as he kind of, uh, looks to Sakura. Um, when you have a moment, Sakura, I don't, I, I uh, can I, can we have a, a word? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Kind of looks the rest of the group. As they, as they kind of do that, like, tears start welling up in my eyes. <laughs> And he kind of then uh, kind of looks to you, Amelia. Um, he kind of seems to notice this a little. You can see he's like, I, I, need, to, I need to talk to Sakura. And he kind of pulls you aside, Sakura. Before he walks away, uh, you said that, I don't know him, but you said that he, he died, supposedly? Yeah, he, he did. Is or, are, you, are, you asking, are you asking him or are you just asking me? I'm asking you because I want to see if I can roll for like maybe insight to see maybe he's undead. Okay. Well, um, right now you don't see any. You don't see him because he's wearing his full gas mask, so you wouldn't. You can't really see him. Um, at the moment, he's wearing his full getup. Um, it's like a it's a dark black long trench coat jacket with like a, almost a zipped hoodie type of steampunk looking thing underneath with kind of a leathery gas mask, which is a symbol of a lot of the Auric guards kind of sport them. Um, he picked it up when he was younger. Um, okay. Anywho, so that's what you see right now. But you do know, you have the knowledge that Connor, I mean, you knew with hanging out with this group that he was a guy that had died. So you guys thought. Well, this is happening. I'm just going to go over to Amelia and just kind of comfort her during the little conversation. 
So she you just kind of put like kind of goes up and stands. You stand next to Amelia. She's you can tell she's clearly a little whelmed uh, by this. Oh, I, got uh, that monkey. I look at Connor. I look at Amelia. I'm just like, yo, we gotta. <laughs> <laughs> do we gotta get get to him, or or is he cool? What do you mean, get to him? Or like, is he gonna be a problem? Who is he? An old friend, and he's. I thought he was dead because of me, but he's here, and I don't understand why. I don't understand how he survived. He kind of looks to to you, Amelia. <clears throat> um. I think you should ask him about it, Amelia. I mean, he kind of told me, but it sounds like a long story. He clearly doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, I don't know about that. He kind of gives you like a cheeky little smile. He kind of then like turns back and starts just like, I don't know what he's doing talking to soccer, though. I mean, kind of, but it, even that doesn't really make much sense to me. As we pivot over to soccer and Connor... He kind of pulls you aside. And you guys all have good hearing. I mean, honestly, most of you have pretty good hearing. Amelia, Pippa, you guys have like a pretty, yeah, high intense hearing. So it's not like you can't hear them, but he is hushing himself. And he knows this, so he's hushing himself so Amelia won't hear him so much. However, Sakura, he pulls you over. Um, This is kind of hard to say, but uh, we're related. Um, okay. <laughs> So, when I died, I, uh, I died, but it wasn't normal. So, you know, I don't know if Millie ever told you, but I, uh, you know how I have these kind of purple warlock abilities. They, uh, I guess they're like you, where when I died, I met my father. So, I mean, I guess you're... Zeus's kid too? No. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm not Zeus's kid, but you're my cousin. Uh. My father's father's name is Hades, and he had an affair with Hera years and years ago, and I was abandoned here. Hera didn't want Zeus to find out that he had a child out of wedlock, even though he's had. How many, like, you? <laughs> Not to be a jerk. Well, it but... looks like we got some blackmail on her now. <laughs> he kind of was thinking the same thing, because my dad, when I died, he told me that I got powers through him, and there wasn't many like us, but there's a couple like us that inherited powers from our other realm parents. So I do know that my magic and yours is connected. Apparently, if I become a hero, they say I can go to Olympus. I don't know if you've been told the same. Yeah, I have. But, I mean, honestly, my only question is, why are you being so shady to Amelia? He kind of looks at her. And he takes off his gas mask to show you. And he kind of, as he takes it off, soccer, you see that his skin himself is all gray and gaunt and pale and his hair stringy very much like cyrus how can wait before he even <laughs> before he even speaks i just slap him <laughs> <laughs> and i go to him i'm like pull yourself together <laughs> and he pulled on his mask he's like can't we we have other things to deal with look i found out that i'm half a god. He told me that you're one too. I don't know what to do about this. Amelia doesn't need to deal with this. I mean, honestly, how does it really change anything about who you are, though? I don't know. Has it changed anything about who you are? I mean, I'm still the same old, same old. <laughs> Just a little bit stronger. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe I should feel the same, but I don't. I feel like we need to do more, which is why we need to get rid of these stones. He kind of turns to the rest of the group. Fine. If you want me to speak up, this is it. These stones are evil. 
We came here to ask Rhaegar Hallsworth about them, because all the Hallswords know something, but Lawrence won't say shit. He kind of turns to you, Amelia. And you've been working with them. Shit, what? Oh, shit. Eye on him. Say that again. Just, say I that again. Work with him in public. Oh. Uh, he kind of like leans down and goes, "We're fine to talk about it here. We need that stone, Amelia." What do you need the stone for? Foxface, Pete, and Connor kind of all group together and look at your guys' team. At the wedding tomorrow, we're going to ask Rhaegar Hallsworth if he has the final piece. One of the Hallsworths has it. It's a green stone that the other three go into. If these stones are all put together, you've been told by Lawrence, Amelia, that it will help cure his wife. Foxface laughs. <laughs> what a lying piece of shit. And you didn't even see it under your nose the whole time, Amelia. Pete kind of walks up. Amelia... That's not his wife. She's a sacrifice. The stones, if all three put together in the green stone, release a greed demon. This demon will devour anything in its path. And listen to the one that set it free. However, you have to have a sacrifice I believe that's what he's trying to do to that woman. Do you the think this surprises me? I knew he didn't care for her. I knew she was just a pawn in a larger scheme. That's why I've been keeping an eye on both of them. Connor kind of rolls his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Ulrich, like you ever thought that that place could change? Has it not? Have you been there? He kind of takes off his mask and looks at you with his dead gray face. I don't have to know if you've made it better, Amelia. That place should have burnt down years ago. And you know it. Cyrus like stones back after seeing his face a little bit. <clears throat> kind of weirds him out seeing someone who looks like him. And he kind of notices you Cyrus kind of take a, a little bit of a, a look at him and he quickly puts the gas mask like back on trying to hide it all look I didn't want to bring you all into this I mainly wanted to come here and just tell you and warn you and figure all this out and honestly get the stone back so we can deal with this then deal with it how we're going to destroy them if we can find the final green stone hidden with the other Hallsworth brother then this is over. But I thought you were going to destroy them. Think- How are you going to destroy oh. them? Hold on, Amelia. What were you saying to? You're insane to think that that stone should be anywhere near that day. Well, we'll just have to see about that and see who finds it first. They kind of three of them look to the group. Look, you're all more than welcome to join us as we head back to Ulrich. But we have to get back there. For what? What do you mean for what? If one, if Lawrence has the green stone, then that that's it. He oh, has the I one thought you can... said. I thought you said Rhaegar might have the green stone. My bad. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know which one has it. We don't know which of the brothers has it. Okay, but All why know... would he? Why would Lawrence? Like, if he had the green stone, why would he ask us to go look for other stones? Because he needs the other three. He needs the blue, the red, and the yellow. Uh, Foxface holds up. There's four. Yellow. <laughs> and, and Pete holds up the blue. We have two of the stone. We believe Amelia has the third. Okay, well, why can't you just destroy one of your other stones? Connor kind of like looks at you all. We don't know if that's possible. So far, we've tried. Nothing seems to have happened. So we think that so we might you be want off- to take all the stones to one area to one of the most dangerous men around the Mala 
and you want to just put all the stones on a silver platter for him in the hopes that maybe <laughs> you find a way to destroy them. All three of the guys kind of look at each other. That was the plan. I just like do a face palm so and good. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I know, I know I'm a little uh, slow sometimes on the uptake, but uh, come on now. That's, pretty <laughs> that's, that's a pretty dumb idea. Fox face, mm-hmm. Fox face that looks at the group. Well, we don't know what else to do. It's either this or just let them find it first. What are we supposed to do? What if they have it? We can't have all this like, it's separated. We have to put them all together and destroy it. If we don't, this green demon will be wrought through everything of Mara. Okay, but we have the... Each of us have the stones. So why don't we go our separate ways until we find the green one? So that way nobody can just come up on us and take all three of them. Also, as far as I know, Lawrence doesn't have any other stones. I have spies in the city who constantly watch him. Do you honestly think I would let him go around my city unsupervised at any moment during the day? At that moment, Connor kind of takes a step back. Look, I uh, maybe we <laughs> haven't looked into it as much as we should have. But we don't know which brother has it, and none of them are trustworthy. He looks to Holman. Do you trust Rhaegar Hallsworth in any way? No. Exactly. Amelia, do you trust Lawrence in any way? Again, spies, round the clock, surveillance. <laughs> what part of that says trust? I wouldn't trust a spy from Ulrich as far as I could throw Pete here. Pete goes, hey. Hey, yeah, but you're me. from or- Ulrich. Yeah, and I wouldn't trust me fucking with half the shit that I do any either. Come on. So <laughs> Connor's like, I was a thief. Amelia's a thief. She's a fucking thief. And you guys forget that that stone that she has in her pocket is because she stole it and caused all this trouble onto us and herself and got me fucking killed. No matter how much I'm in love with her. <laughs> At that moment, Thanks. I just slam across the face again before he says anything else stupid. I think Cyrus is gonna he's gonna shove him as well, like onto the floor. Okay. As he says that, like I kinda like turn around like in a huff and like go outside and slam the door. He kinda he gets up. He kind of puts his finger up. Just can you give us a minute? No. He looks you, Cyrus. No, I I look at him and I like knee him in in the nuts and I say <laughs> and I Damn. and I say <laughs> hold on hold on hold on one second I'm gonna tell him um you know uh we sh- I'm glad that we let you burn after saying some dumb shit like that to Amelia. <laughs> Well, he he got he does a dexterity. <laughs> he, he rolls he rolls a nineteen on his dexterity, so he he manages to block the crotch kick. So he goes like this and he uses mage hand, and it kind of blocks you soccer from kicking him in the nuts. And he kind of moves closer towards the door, and he goes, "Look, just give me a second to talk with her. It's it's more than you guys think." Connor, you kind of seem like a fuck boy. <laughs> He kind of gives you an eye soccer. He's like, I knew you didn't like me. And he kind of then goes up the door and Where's follows. I, no, I, I, as he's walking out, I'm like, come on, man. We're supposed to be cousins now. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's cousins. like, well, cousins don't, don't do this shit. And he kind of closes the door behind cousins. him. And, uh, Wait, cousins? <laughs> cousins. So for the, for the, oh yeah, you guys just all hear this yeah. for a second. And you look at soccer as she says this. Um, uh, yeah, Pippa, what would you like to say? Uh, I just want to add in drama. Again. <laughs> <laughs> the, the word of the gay, the word but, of the campaign. Yeah. Word of the campaign. Oh. But I just want to say that since we're already here, we might as well check and see if Rhaegar has the green stone. I mean, we're going to the wedding tomorrow. We got a dad to find. Might as well add the green stone to our list of stuff to do tomorrow. We have enough of us. We could probably split up and figure it out. It Just might be in the tower. 
if that's the most secure place in the city. And Foxface kind of leans back and looks to the group. You've always been a smart girl, Pippa. That's exactly what we should do. Because while you guys are at the wedding, maybe you can distract them. And then our team can go into the tower and look for the stone. I mean, sounds pretty good to me. I mean, me, Connor, and Pete make an appearance. Dip. Your team go versus Rhaegar. Uh, if you're going to the tower, I need you to get a prisoner out of there for me. Fine. What's his name? Uh, it's my father. All right. His so he's name. Yeah. yeah. Let me see what name I gave. Uh, Grayman Adminor. Grayman. All right. Grayman Adminor. <laughs> Sorry, I had to look it up in my notes. Like, again. what's my dad's name? Grayman's <laughs> <laughs> my dad. <laughs> Listen, I rolled a two for reading today. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's all right. I got to double right. check. <laughs> it's the suit trauma. Look, mate. If we find, if we see him there, we'll definitely get him for you. Promise. That's a promise made by Foxface, and his team knows. That's a big, that's a, you know, that's a big thing. I'm just going to let you know right now, if I make a promise to you, it's kind of like a good thing. It's cool. It's like thumbs up. Like, I'm a fucking cool guy. I'm just letting you know. I look over at Peppa and Sakura, like, can I trust them with this? Yeah. Um, I mean, no. yeah, I think so. Carter. Pete. Uh, I don't like Pete. Pete looks Boys, <laughs> 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 you're going to have to get it on. Pete, Pete kind of looks to you, Cyrus. He doesn't know that you don't like him. He looks at your armor like, that's a pretty cool sword you got, man. What is that? A moon touch sword? It's pretty hey, cool. You want to try it out? Yes, I want to try it out. Have you ever seen a monkey use a moon touch sword, bitch? I haven't either. Give it that. Show him. Give it to me. Let me see that. Cyrus, no. He just drops it. Cyrus, you drop the large sword like. Pete tries to grab it, but he's too small of a monkey. He takes like the giant large cloud blade, like <laughs> and, he like, just falls to the ground. Like he kind of looks to soccer, like, don't look at me. I'm not this weak. <laughs> and he kind of starts like trying to lift it. It's like, I can't do it. I can't, can't lift smoke. He picks it up with like one hand and he sheeps it back. With him still holding it, <laughs> he yeah, so, some... <laughs> like, like Pete, Pete's like ah, ah as he like slides in Sakura. <laughs> like you kind of like look as like Cyrus kind of gives you like a yeah. <laughs> it's like he landed so Pete kind of just falls to the ground. Like this fucking guy. Um, all right, so the last scene of the night, everybody, before we take a break. So we'll get to the wedding. There's like a kind of plan. Maybe it's good that they weren't here tonight because the game actually went a little longer than they planned tonight. We're here at our normal cutoff. Um, so we'll get to the wedding episode, everybody, when we get back from playing our two week special of our suicide squad mission. So everybody watching, we'll be back to this main group in about two weeks, um, and stuff. So, but the last thing we're going to leave off with is Amelia, you're outside and you are emotional and, uh, you've just kind of stormed out of the, the pub and kind of waiting in the dark stairway hallway there. Um, you hear as Connor kind of follows you from behind. He's like, wait, Amelia, stop. Can you stop? Where are you going? I kind of, I kind of pause for a second and go, don't hang around me too much. You don't want to die again. You, God damn it. Why are you like this? Why are you always like this? First in Old Pleasure, back in Ulrich, why do you have to consistently fight with me all the time? Why are you so dead set on a stupid plan that's just going to get more people killed? You didn't think any of this through. I thought you were dead for how long? You never said anything. Sorry, I didn't know I was Hades' fucking son, okay? You want to know the truth, Amelia? I'm Hades' fucking kid, all right? You, you know I didn't know my family. I don't know my mom or my dad. That's why I'm like you, and we grew up like shit. But now I know who I am. Amelia? We spent hours talking about who we could be. Who we were. I'm sorry I didn't know that. And I got fucking came back to life. And the first thing I didn't want to do is show you my gray fucking ugly face. What, you want to see this? He steps into like the moonshine. And you see that the 
undeadness of him, it turns from just regular gray skinned guy to you see almost like a skeleton through his body uh, when the moonlight hits him. It's kind of as in like, you know, in Pirates of the Caribbean where they go from looking normal to when the moon hits them, it's skeletal. That's almost exactly what's happening to Connor. What? You wanted me to come back and show you that I look like this? Would have been better than knowing the fact that like, I never would have seen you again. I thought you were dead. I don't give a shit what you look like. And he's like, God damn it. And he kind of just moves in. And I need you to do a performance role because he gives you the biggest kiss that you've ever had. As Connor grabs you and just pulls you in and kisses you. And he rolls a... Uh, hold on. I gotta do a... I got a 25, <laughs> so like... Oh my gosh! Okay. Damn! Hey, what the... <laughs> he rolls... <laughs> Yo, get the cameras out. Get the cameras out. So, oh as, my as, you roll, as you roll a high, he also rolls a high at a 19 plus on his performance. So you guys yeah. are having a kiss. So you guys are... Fine. As Can he we as peek out the door to see this? <laughs> it's like a, like it's like a, it's like a, a Disney moment as he got it and uh and he kind of kisses you, Amelia, as he then you guys kind of break the kiss and he looks at you and he says, God damn it. Are you gonna give me the stone? No. <laughs> Fuck oh, no. that's what <laughs> and he go, no. he goes fine that we do this together that's where we're going to end tonight's episode so can i add one oh more thing oh my god oh yes yes <laughs> go for it one last thing to to so um so uh i'm gonna go up to Foxface and ask him about the stone and okay. he said that like they couldn't find a way to destroy it right at the moment, yeah, uh, they can't destroy the stones individually. No, no, we can't, mate. Not, not. Uh, we've tried. This team found the blue one. They delivered it to me. I found the yellow one. Group of creepy people up in Loveland Town. Z fucking lion man, creepy porcelain doll that talked. It was crazy mission, mate. It was crazy. There's this blind girl, an orc girl. It was nuts. But we got the yellow stone. Let's just say that. But uh, yeah. Amelia's had this red one, I guess, and um, can't destroy him, mate. May have a way. You might have a way. I you don't know me. No, I don't. But I have, say, a friend that's giving me power. Okay. And if I use this special ability, I'm afraid it may kill me, but it may have the power to destroy those stones. You've just made this trip a lot more interesting, mate. Tell me more. I take it from Hound. The Hound. I don't I don't remember that's all I know his that's all I know him as, but he's this super strong being that just wants chaos and destruction and wants me to find people but he gave me ability if I were to use it it would give my life force and all the hate and pain I've taken from all the people I've fought or killed to a single blast hmm I can't say we've ever tried anything like that I mean are you sure you'd be willing to risk your life to stop a Demon, it's a bold it's thing. Very good. Are you sure? You sure you die if you did it, or is is it just what is this? It's a probably. I'm not sure myself. I only used to move one other time. Hmm. Well, let's hold on to that one on our back pocket, eh? You might come in useful to our group. Yeah, he gives him like a he takes out his hand for a handshake. Foxface takes your hand. Cyrus. You guys kinda of do a nice shake and uh, a connection there. Um Foxface goes, Maybe after this we can recruit you to the uh FPCs. We're always looking for new recruits. We're thinking about starting this as a a unit, if you know what I mean. 
go around places and uh, save the world. A man with that type of conviction could be useful. All right, so that's where we're going to end tonight's game, everybody. Uh, we're going to pick back here with this group here in about a week or two. We're going to be doing a special kind of Suicide Squad type of mission uh, game starting next week and the week after. So, guys, look over your characters for that. It should be fun uh, and kind of Ooh. brutal and deadly and, and crazy. So everybody here, I believe, is playing in that game. We have a couple other people playing. Our friend Kevin Allen will be returning for that. He's going to be kind of like a Rick Flag. Uh, type that's going to be helping lead your guys' team uh, through your dangerous mission. And Kevin is just booked to film, um, so he's going to be filming that after he's done with our campaign. So we're very lucky to have him join uh, join us again. Some of you have played with Kevin. Um, Hollywood, I think, Hallman, you're the only one that hasn't played with Kevin uh, here. Uh, the rest of us, we played with him when we did our Christmas special. And um, yeah, so everybody, thank you for coming back again this week on Spicy and Dicey. We will be back with this story, everybody, players. We'll be back with these characters in about a week or two. Um, and we'll also give recaps and every stuff when we come back. But until then, have fun next week with the assigned convicted as we come back with our Suicide Squad, Suicide Mission, zombie killing team. Um, everybody... Mwah. We love you. Thank you for tuning in here. Shout out to D&D Beyond, which we play at. Shout out to SoCal D&D and LA Comic Con for giving us all these amazing things and stuff. Um, awesome. We'll have more players here again next week and the week after. Until then, everybody, goodbye from Spicy and Dicey. We'll see you next time. Mwah. 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 Oh, little monkeys. Let's get little monkeys and gods. Oh, yeah. D&D.